Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. It is the springtime and it's actually hot in my room for once. Some of you who've been following my work here on Above Life Channel or on my other YouTube channel, Fairy Grasshopper, you know that I work in a room that's a greenhouse actually. And there's like windows above and in front of me here and over here. And sometimes that causes weird lights and stuff, lighting and stuff. And it, it's mostly helpful though, like in the winter time, because it can be warmer in here because of the sun, but also colder because of the window. So I have like heat stuff going on. And then now, because today happens to be a warmer day, it's hot. <laughs> so I'm like, Oh, good thing I dressed in layers. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to actually put my hoodie on, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. So today in our, our channeling, because it is springtime, it is March, 2022 when I'm recording this, we're going to talk to David Bowie. I love talking to David Bowie. And especially when it comes to galactic or star seed energy. So you may or may not know, but there are lots of levels of spirit guides and lots of levels of energy support that we can tap into. And one of which is what we consider, you know, star energy or galactic or other planet energies. So I have a star guide, a spirit guide that I work with. Her name is Aria. And I have channeled her in small group for my divine woman group and so I am very familiar and, and versed in, um, I can translate star energy, and I do have clients that are in alignment and have star guides as well. However, that said, it's just one of many different kinds of spirit guides that we can have. And David Bowie himself has this just real star alignment. And I think that that's really going to be helpful now as we are in the springtime, just starting into tippy toeing into the springtime of 2022. I think that star energy is going to be very helpful. I mentioned it in the beginning of the year that it was present. I mentioned that it was going to be a support for us. There is higher level healing that we can tap into and utilize. And especially with the desire for peace energy right now and healing, peace with healing, it's, it feels as though it's just the perfect time to have this conversation. So David Bowie as an afterlife spirit is very highly ascended. What I mean by that is not necessarily hierarchical. When I say highly ascended, what I mean is higher vibrational energy. So the frequencies of spirit guides are different. There are some very earthy like guides like totem animals, great totem animals who are much more um, very grounded, feel very much connected to our human incarnations. And there are like archangels, for example, who can feel very light and very almost fairy-like and very um, just super lighthearted energetically. I think star guides or star energy, ascended energy, um, like the form of a master or mastery, like an ascended master Jesus, um, for example, that vibrational energy is something that it can be kind of tricky to translate because of the ascended level of energy and the higher frequency vibration, because we're matter and mass, our bodies, and it can be hard to interpret that. So David Bowie, I think, does a great job of embodying this ascended energy and is able to translate and transmit the information that we have accessible and available to us that comes kind of filters through star energy. So I want to bring that in. I think it's really helpful here. Like I said, March of 2022. So let's have a conversation with Bowie. Okay, so now it's getting a little colder in here. So that's good. So now I can put on a hoodie, which in a couple months, I won't need any hoodies because I will be just like you guys in the summertime. Looking forward to that. But we gotta have some purple energy, crown chakra coming on. Okay. So David, can you come on in? Get real close. He's the star energy stuff. Um, I don't know how much people are actually going to talk about that or have conversation about that. It comes through in shapes and symbols. If you are very clairvoyant, you might see, um, the, or like behind me, the flower of life or seed of life energies. You might see symbols like the rose back here, up here like that. That's a little more divine feminine, not quite as much star energy, um, but it could be, it might be for you. The Lotus is the Lotus one, especially when it's blue. 
the color blue, the color is blue. And then a little bit of pink can also be because that's more, a little more palladium. Blue is more Arcturian from my experience personally, um, which are just different types of star guides. But I'm not sure what boy has to share with us today about the star stuff. I just know it's part of this conversation. So come on in. I know, I, hey, I know that I've had to channel you for over a week now. So thanks for being patient with me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. I'm going to use this. I actually have two different sprays here. I have one from Amanda Ellis. Amanda's so great. She's over in the UK. She's another um, psychic medium and intuitive, someone who I trust, who has a lot of integrity in her work. And AmandaEllis.com, you can get um, sprays that she actually has. This one she used um, in collaboration with Prince in the Afterlife. So you know that I do a lot. I've done a lot of work with Prince in the past. And so this is one of her sprays with Archangel Metatron as well, a higher self connection spray, awareness and intuition spray. We're going to use this. We're just going to spray it. I'm going to spray it on from the tapestry behind me so I can smell it. Ooh, okay. Breathe that in. Use it to clean and clear the air to help raise the vibration to that higher level of consciousness as we're having connection. Yeah, they're <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> interesting. There is definitely, okay, so David is talking to us about right away for me, he's really bringing in the divine feminine. He's showing me the, the symbol of the rose behind me that I have, the energy of the rose, actually, the physical, this is a real rose that I have here behind me, and the divine feminine work that I've been doing. And he's bringing in the energy of the alliance between the divine feminine, which we often, he sh he's sharing. So I'm getting intuitive information from him empathically through the heart, but also able to formulate it into kind of clear cognizance, intuition to share with you. That's why what I'm doing now, that's what's coming through. In case you're new here and you don't know, that's what's happening right now. I'm channeling him. All right. And he says that the divine feminine often has an alliance with the earth, which we recognize uh, earth as like a female planet or a feminine planet, um, very nurturing, abundant, provides life source, sustains us, that kind of a thing. But that divine feminine energy and the energy of the galactic or the cosmos, which is very, very androgynous, much like David Bowie was himself energetically and in human form at times in his life, played with gender fluidity. Of course, we know that, right? You know that, right? You know that? If you don't know anything about David Bowie, Google it up. Mm -hmm. Above Life Channel isn't about the Googling. Above Life Channel is about the channeling. And so we're going to have this conversation at that higher level. So catch up. Um, we, <laughs> we have, he's like, whoa, Bridget, sharp sharp yes because i am curious now about this star energy stuff and how it's supposed to help us with the peace and time of peace and healing because we want healing we collectively want healing we've been on a mission for healing for a couple of years in humanity collectively globally all of us have been struggling with illness in one way shape or form and it's been plaguing our economies and our educational systems and our families and our hospitals and our care. And it's been challenging our values, which is just a natural tilling of the soil, but it's been intense and it's been everywhere. And so with that, there's a healing, a des desire, demand, need, basic core need of humans for healing. And because of that, the earth energy is supporting and sustaining us as best she can while we are changing everything. And with you, David, bringing in this star energy resonance, I want to know, and we want to know, the viewers want to know about 2022 here in the springtime, because spring is the energy of new, what is going on? I mean, there's now that we've had the pandemic kind of starting to blend into a normalcy. Okay, it's not going away, but it's like a normalcy a bit, a bit. In some places, it's normal seeing in other places, it's crisis. And yet, we also have now world conflict, dramatic, challenged conflict that is also challenging history and historical remembrances in humanity. Painful memories on many levels. 
And yet the star energy is present right now and here because of you, you're bringing this to me. And I did not recognize this to the degree in which you are now telling us that the wisdom of, it's like the future depends on the ancient processing here and now in the present of what is. The ancient impacting the future based upon the present processing of what is. But it's like this reflection, he's showing me a mirror back, a mirror that like looks back at the past to get a deeper understanding, not to relive, but to deeply understand in order to, he says, it's not about not repeating the past. It's about deeper understanding so that the higher vibrational energy, and it looks like a light green, almost like a Archangel Raphael kind of you guys, healing color is kind of a green, new opportunities, um, Archangel Raphael is green when I see him. Um, very doctor, Dr. Angel says, this is a chance to bring in a layer of stability for your change process because of the recognition of collective recognition of need for healing and the, the presentation of peace. And then I see yellow, yellow is peace, peace is yellow right now coming in, which is a soul collective desire for peace. And yet the stabilization of a healing process is not possible, but the peace makes it tolerable. Okay, so, so I understand this philosophically. What does the galactic stuff have to do with it? What is the star stuff? What is the, is it like astrology that we need to be focused on and like mercury retrogrades or moon cycles or solar flares or eclipses or what, what? You as a human, he says, can leverage through the body, the awarenesses of such changes in subtle changes in energy. This brings you like an antenna into receivership and acceptance of higher vibrational energies that come through the galactic streams of consciousness. This doesn't mean a visitation necessarily. This doesn't mean the assignment of a star guide for you. However, if you need a higher vibrational healing or the frequency of something that is different than what has been before for you in your body, you need to recognize and tap into the specific elect electrical currents energetic, electrical, it's like, ele he's showing me like electrical currency, like electric currents, electricity. It looks like electricity, but he's saying like through things like solar flares and like moon, full moon cycles and through um, real obvious things. He's showing me like, like mercury retrogrades and stuff like that, real obvious things, like real powerful, potent dates and um solar alignments and things like that. Like he's saying, it's, it's really, it, it is an opportune time to tune your body like a tuning fork to the new, um, new word, new to you and your body frequencies that are available through the galactic that come in through these electrical currents that are open during these times. You guys, I do not do astrology specifically. Like I'm an Aquarius. I know that my chart has like no water in it which doesn't mean I don't have any emotions, by the way. It just means I'm highly hypersensitive, actually. Very much an air sign and fire. Um, so I think it's air rising, if you're curious. Um, I should have an astrology reading, like a formal one. That would be great. Maybe I should do that. But he's showing us that this is a new level of understanding and an opportunity for you. Like this could bring you hope. This could create some interest in you so that your physical human body can benefit from the currents, the currents, and it's like an electrical current, the currents, to help the physical body attune like a tuning fork to be adjusted so that the peace can allow for a sense of um, consistency, uh, palatability, palatability maybe in the events and the unfoldings of the things.
the things that we're physically seeing in our human eyes and the atrocities that are happening. And which, by the way, there have been so many. This isn't new. The current event stuff. This is not new. This has been happening in countries all over the world where one country decides they want another's assets and so they pillage the country. This happens. It's been happening lots of places. So within our own right, the sovereignty you have of your own body and your own human experience. This is where you have your power. This is where you can affect the healing and you can allow the peace for you to be received. And it can come from the higher consciousness and the realms of the astral or star guides and the galactic energies, if you so choose. I'm not suggesting it's transcendent, like he's not showing, he's not saying that this is not above Jesus or Buddha or Allah or whoever you work with as far as any of the deities, God, goddess aspects, et cetera, or your belief systems. This does transcend the mind though, yes. And the mind will not be able to articulate and fully understand this, but your body can, and your body craves the peace is what David Bowie is sharing right now. The peace again is the golden light energy, which is your solar plexus, your spirit. And the purpose of some of this is for you to allow your body like a tuning fork to be able to hold a higher vibrational frequency, like such as the healing that is accessible through the galactic channels. And then he says, if you need help for discernment, you can use Archangel Raphael. Yes, Bridget. He says, tell them Raphael and Metatron. He literally just said Metatron, which we had already used the spray, right? The Metatron spray. So Metatron will work, which is true in my healing work and with clients, Metatron is an alignment. He is like, um, the Metatronic energy is like a chiropractor. It is an alignment. It is a scaffolding. It can create can provide a structure. It can, it much, it very much looks like a cellular tower, but it's within your body, the pillar of light that you are. And it helps to create or formulate a structure or to change a structure so that you can receive the currents, the electrical energies that are most in alignment for you to be able to present peace. And because of the collective connected into the base intention of healing, Peace is the part that you want to feel, express, and experience because you want to emanate that peace and that light of peace comes from your belly, your solar plexus. So Metatron is great to keep you in alignment, but David is also suggesting Raphael, who is green. Again, Archangel Raphael shows really light green. So if you see color, if you're very um, visual, green, right? Which is perfect for the springtime, opportunity for something new, new growth, abundance, learning, expansion, opportunity. That's what green is. Okay. All right. I do have actually another spray of Amanda's. Again, Amanda Ellis. I'm going to put a link below to her stuff here. It's very affordable, even though it comes across the pond and has to be um, shipped. And you just got to be a little patient. It's pretty quick though. It comes pretty quick. Um, I got these as gifts, by the way, I should share that. This is an Archangel Raphael spray. It's a healing connection spray. I love this one. It's like a spearmint kind of vibe. It's beautiful. The, just the packaging is gorgeous. Anyway, we're gonna use this. Collectively for you, for your solar plexus. Now this green also honors the heart space. So we're gonna invoke Archangel Raphael, just as though uh, David Boy also suggested Metatron, but we're gonna invoke Raphael. We're gonna bring in the healing energy. We're going to request some peace energy coming into the heart space for you to amplify your personal peace, because this is where you have the power. This is where you can then, when you internalize the personal peace within you, you can amplify that from your solar plexus. Okay. So lots of yellow, golden yellow. David's showing me lots of golden yellow energy, lots of purple crown chakra, lots of yellow, golden yellow, um, solar plexus peace, radiate peace. Okay. So in order to connect with the galactic energy specifically for healing, 
you are showing and to access this piece and the, the electrical kind of currents of peace, if we are, are more in tune or understand more about astrology, and then you're showing me numbers and shapes. So sacred geometry, numerology, and astrology, these are ways that we can use to tap into and understand better how to maximize or leverage what is accessible and available to us that transcends our human consciousness and understanding. So the mind isn't going to understand this, but, but the energies can be accessed and available to you when you learn about some of these things, specifically the astrology piece feels really important. And it feels like solar flares, moon cycles, which solar is um, divine masculine energy and the moon cycles is divine feminine energy, which is what the red rose symbolizes for me energetically. And a grounded, really um, like a, a consistent kind of base foundation for us, for our lives. And he's like showing the body as the place to receive the currency and to be able to bring to fruition peace. And it's very personal. He says that this is very, very, very personal. And it's individual and unique. And your specific encodements or your specific um, healing structure for peace is going to look a little different. Each person's is going to look a little different. So even if you use um, a spray or have Archangel uh, Raphael assist you or have Archangel Metatron assist you or work with David Boy or work with the sacred geometry shape of, of the... <laughs> of Metatron's cube. I just, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It's right behind me. Mm -hmm. Or of the, the rose or of a lotus or whatever that might be for you, that, that you can utilize that to build a solid foundation for peace for yourself. And that will then radiate to others in your, in your family or interpersonal relationships, into your environment, to your communities, into your countries and into the world. Okay. And the galactic energy that's available is really promoting peace and it is promoting healing advancement, but the, the currency of it, the electric currency is charged and it's charged and available, most easily accessible and, and, and uh, translated easier during these, um, astrological time points. And it, they're showing me dates on a calendar by the, I mean, Raphael, Metatron and Bowie, um, dates on calendars. That, which is numerology stuff and um, kind of how we had like in February 2, 22, 22 kind of thing like that, you know, like that kind of thing, pay attention. And then like with the equinox, like the spring equinox and the, the summer solstice coming up in June and that kind of thing, like that matters, it matters. And then, then the alignment of the astrology, the full moons, especially, and the solar flares and the solar stuff. So pay attention to that. And it feels very personal. All right, so with that, this is very much about healing is how it feels to me, healing and peace, the desire for peace and understanding that we have to kind of go outside of ourselves and bring information into the body and embody it as human, human body, humankind, and then be that radiance of energy coming out from us. So it's not like formalized action. It's like really about understanding. Oops. I think my kid just called. Yes, did. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Duty calls, family calls. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for being here in this unique channeling session with David Bowie from The Afterlife. As always, I hope that we have inspired your spirit and filled you with some hope. This has definitely been a unique session. Resources will be shared below in the links below. If you want a private session with me, I am an intuitive life coach in my private sessions. My psychic and mediumship work is here in public and it's accessible to you free here like this. Check out the playlist for David Bowie and for others to find out, um, to get some more insights and inspirational conversations, different types of channeling. I do lots of different kinds of channeling. Um, you can check that out. But in the links below, if you want to have a private session with me, I do offer that um, as an intuitive life coach. So it's a little different than this. It's not private channeling of celebrities. So, all right. So I hope I've inspired your spirit, filled you with hope and 
hopefully we've encouraged you to live your life after all. This is your life. It's yours now. So what you do with this information, this ascended information from Mr. David Bowie is up to you. It's up to you. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.